Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back to our SPI Ultrasound Physics Bridges Review. Feel free to pause the video after I ask the question and give enough time to answer it before I answer it. Let's dive back into this thing. This chart represents the quality assurance of a Doppler Phantom. What is the PPV or the positive predicted value? Is it A, B, C, or D? A says 33 divided by 33 plus 31. B says 32 divided by 32 plus 4. C says 4 divided by 31 minus 4. D says 31 divided by 31 plus 33. Your positive predictive value equation is all your true positives divided by the sum of your true positives plus your false positives, or A divided by the sum of A plus B. So the answer to this question is 32 divided by the sum of 32 plus 4. So this is the correct answer. What do you assume if you have a true negative? A, exam is correct to show disease. B, exam is incorrect. C, disease is present. Or D, no disease. A true negative means that you don't have a disease and a test shows that you don't have a disease. The test was correct to show that there's no disease. So the answer is D, no disease. What do you assume if you have a false positive? A true, B false, C positive, or D negative? A false positive means you don't have a disease, but a test says you have disease, so the exam was incorrect. So the answer to this question is B, false. False means the exam was incorrect, while true means the exam was correct. Positive means that the result of the exam indicate that the patient has disease, while negative means that the results of the exam indicate that the patient is free of disease. If you assume a test is positive and it turns out to be positive, which best describes the results? A, false negative, B, false positive, C, true negative, or D, true positive? The answer is D, true positive. This chart represents the quality assurance of a Doppler Phantom. What is the sensitivity? A, 63%, B, 75%, C, 83%, or D, 71%? The answer is C, 83%. The way you calculate the sensitivity is you take all your true positives and divide it by all of your true positives plus false negatives here. When you do that, you get 83%. If you have a patient that tests positive, what does this mean? A, subjective, B, biased, C, objective, or D, no disease? The answer is C, objective. This chart represents the quality assurance of a Doppler Phantom. What is the specificity? A, 63%, B, 75%, C, 83%, or D, 71%. To calculate the specificity, you take your true negatives and divide that by the sum of your true negatives plus your false positives. So we're going to take 5 and divide that by 8, or divide 8 into 5. And that will give us 0 0.625. Just round up and you got 63%. What is the specificity? A, 32 divided by 32 plus 33, B, 49 divided by 49 plus 45, C, 33 divided by 33 plus 32, or is it D, 45 divided by 49 plus 45? The answer is B, 49 divided by 49 plus 45. What is the sensitivity? A, 39 divided by 32 plus 39, B, 39 divided by 39 plus 48, C, 49 divided by 49 plus 48, or is it D, 39 divided by 39 plus 32? The answer is D, 39 divided by 39 plus 32, or A, divided by A plus C. If a test is a false positive, what is the accuracy? A, negative, B, positive, C, incorrect, or D, correct? The answer is C, incorrect, because a false positive means a test incorrectly diagnosed a patient with disease when they don't have disease, so the test was incorrect. What does it mean when a patient is negative for disease? A, specificity, B, sensitivity, C, positive predictive value, or D, negative predictive value.
The answer is A, specificity. What does it mean when a patient tests negative and truly is negative? A, specificity, B, sensitivity, C, positive predictive value, or D, negative predictive value? The answer is D, negative predictive value. What does it mean when a patient is positive for disease? A. Specificity B. Sensitivity C. Positive predictive value or D. Negative predictive value The answer is B. Sensitivity If a test is a false positive, what is the accuracy? A. Negative B. Positive C, incorrect, or D, correct? The answer is C, incorrect, because a false positive means a test incorrectly diagnosed a patient with disease when they don't have disease, so the test was incorrect. If any of you have any questions about your upcoming SPI boards, feel free to reach out to me at ultrasoundboardview at gmail.com or you can post a text or call at 435-922-1635. If you're looking for extra study material, go to Google, type in ultrasound, board, review, click enter, click on ultrasound board review, click on enter the pass zone, scroll down until you see SPI ultrasound physics mock exams, click that, scroll down, and then click subscribe on my website. So to be clear, you're subscribing on my website, ultrasoundboardview.com. So you'll click that, and then you'll fill out all your information here, your email, payment, review, and subscribe. And then I will send you the link and the password to your mock exams. If you're looking for one-on-one -on -one SPI tutoring, go back to that first page, scroll down, and then click SPI Physics Tutoring. Scroll down, and then click subscribe on my website. I'm Jim with ultrasoundboardview.com. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.